No, Brian, when it comes to alfalfa weed control, not much has changed in the history of Ag PhD. Over the last 15 <laughs> years, boy, there haven't been a whole lot of new products we're adding to this discussion. Uh, no, I, I'll bet you that if we went back to some of our first shows we aired way back in 1998, I could run the exact same segment and it would tell you everything you need to know about weed control today in alfalfa. It's really unfortunate. There is one thing that is different today though. Now we have Roundup Ready Alfalfa. Well, okay, so you've got Roundup Ready <laughs> Alfalfa and you can yep. spray Roundup out there and that is awfully nice. I won't deny that at all. Except but... if you're in soybeans and you're trying to control volunteer alfalfa, now you've got big trouble because the only thing that will kill alfalfa in soybeans is Roundup, that's it. So if you have Roundup Ready alfalfa, you really shouldn't plant soybeans the next year. Now you have to plant corn. Well, let's focus on conventional alfalfa for today's discussion. Now, the most important thing for me is getting that good stand established. I like Eptam a lot. I'll use it at a very strong rate and I'll put it down pre-emerge. Yes, it's gonna cost me quite a bit of money. It's gonna be expensive. You're gonna spend $15 an acre, maybe a little more depending on where you're at and where you're getting your herbicide from. But a good strong rate of Eptam will get all the grass under control and a lot of the small seeded broadleaves. The biggest problem with Eptam is it has to be double incorporated. It has very high vapor pressure. So don't even think about spraying Eptam on and then working it in even an hour later most of the products going to be gone now you could instead of using eptam use a little bit of trefflan there and why would i not want to do that why would it's you cheap. do that it's it's cheap but again <laughs> you get the same issues as you do with eptam it's got a high vapor pressure you got to work it in instantly and your weed control isn't going to last as long plus you could ding your alfalfa a little bit that's too. the most important thing it could hurt that alfalfa stand alfalfa is worth a lot of money you've got to get a great stand so we strongly recommend starting with eptam but once you do that now what all right well in crop you could use some Something like Pursuit or Raptor, they've got the most broad spectrum coverage, but Bucktroll's been a nice option too. And for a lot of guys, they run into weeds, cocklebur, sunflower, velvet leaf, lamb's quarters, all those weeds, we do a nice job with Bucktroll. Now, some farmers don't like the activity of Bucktroll. They wanna boost it up a little bit. So what they do is include a very low rate, maybe one to two ounces of Buterac per acre. Buterac was originally developed for soybeans. It was called 2,4-D-B and that B meant beans. But once farmers used it I in soybeans- I thought the B meant burn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, it should have been D for disaster because that's basically <laughs> what it was. They realized, oh, this isn't going to work in soybeans, but let's try it in alfalfa. What the heck? So they tried one to two ounces and yeah, you can do it. I don't like to use it in alfalfa. I think there's too much burn, but some guys will use a little bit of buterac. We didn't even mention grass killers post-emerge in alfalfa. So you could go out with Select Max or a number of other grass killers that are out there and that'll do a really nice job post-emerge on grass as long as those grasses are annual grasses. If you have perennials like quack grass, for example, all you can hope for is using the highest labeled rate of the herbicide and just getting suppression on quack. Unless, of course, you have Roundup Ready alfalfa brand because then you can wipe out quack grass or those tough perennial weeds. But when it comes to our super weed, we'll give you the answer to controlling because it. Because not even Roundup might do it on this particular weed. It's coming up next.